The story of the Trefethen family is inextricably woven into the 20th century rise of the Bay Area as a global economic powerhouse. Spanning three generations and touching every corner of the region, it's a remarkable story of hard work, reinvention, and giving back. Eugene Trefethen was attending UC Berkeley in the late 1920s when he began working summers as a laborer at a sand and gravel plant in Livermore, run by renowned industrialist Henry J. Kaiser. Within a few years, the Oakland native rose to become one of Kaiser's most trusted and accomplished executives, leading the construction of such iconic projects as the Bay Bridge, Hoover Dam, and Shasta Dam. Over five decades, Trefethen translated Kaiser's lofty aspirations into reality and built Kaiser Industries into a vast industrial titan that produced everything from ships and cement to bridges and dishwashers. And it was during Trefethen's tenure that today's Kaiser Permanente was born to provide affordable, quality healthcare for the company's many thousands of workers and later, millions of Americans. After retiring in 1974, Eugene and wife Catherine began a new chapter in the Trefethen family story that would give rise to one of the world's greatest winemaking regions. On an historic but neglected estate in the sleepy Napa Valley that the Trefethens purchased as a retirement retreat, son John and his wife Janet founded the winery that bears their family name. Behind a tireless work ethic, the Trefethens, within a few short years, had established a world-class winery, and in 1979, their Chardonnay was named best in the world. I think it's very important that in the wine business, families are involved because um, you have to have such a long-term perspective. And our interest is to produce wines in, in a very elegant style. That long-term perspective would also guide the Trefethens in elevating the Napa Valley into the revered global brand and destination it is today, establishing or leading many of the institutions that have been key to growing the industry. Janet spearheaded the winery's marketing efforts, becoming one of the industry's first female executives and a driving force behind the Valley's now famous culinary scene. The wine world... <laughs> has changed enormously since uh, we started in 73, and for women in particular. With John and Janet focused on the winery business and promoting Napa Valley, Eugene and Catherine turned their time and energy to philanthropy and civic leadership. Eugene served as chair of the Bay Area Council from 1973 to 1975, and the Trefethens gave generously to the arts and education, including UC Berkeley, Mills College, Napa Valley College, UC Davis, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, the United Way, Boy Scouts, United Negro College Fund, the Oakland Symphony Orchestra, and UC San Francisco, among others. As John and Janet began to step away from daily operations, a new generation of Trefethens stepped forward. Lorenzo Trefethen took over the vineyard's marketing, sales, and financing, bringing new innovations to the winery's products and packaging, He's also continuing his family's tradition of giving back, serving on the board of the Bay Area Council and spearheading numerous efforts to benefit the community. Every year, you know, we're really maintaining that pioneering spirit that my grandparents and then my parents started with and has kept us going through these last 50 years. Haley Trefethen became the voice of the Trefethen family and company brand, leading the vineyard's innovative efforts in sustainable winemaking and helping lead many of the wine and grape growing associations her father and mother were instrumental in creating. We've got 40 years of history of being in a well-established, trustworthy brand that's, you know, all estate fruit. We're producing things quality year after year. But at the same time, there's an incredible amount of innovation. Whether it's producing award-winning wines, prioritizing environmentally sustainable vineyard production, or giving back to the community, the Trefethen family's pioneering spirit, resilience, and leadership show no signs of slowing down. We've just become more and more confident and assured of what we're doing. And that is very much about celebrating our history while embracing the future. Okay.